Hey everyone, it's Nick with Us vs. Herd. Today we're going to be talking about GameStop. We're going to be talking about some of the trades that I went into as well. Kind of where I see the market. We had a good end of the day, good market close. I mean, GameStop was up 52% as well. Today, I, cl I uh, close up the day, 247 realized profit trading futures. For you, those that don't know me or don't know you know what I'm doing here. I've been testing out Ninja Trader, trading out futures. So we opened a small account over here with put a couple grand in here. Was down a little bit, kind of going back and forth. Today I'm up $247 realized profit. In terms of options, I didn't take any realized profit, but I'll cover that later. I did get into RK, Boeing, Netflix, Blink. So I'll I'll go over those trades and why I did it. I will cover GameStop right now. But first, if you made money, comment below, got paid. If you lost money today, comment below, learn a lesson, and do me a big favor. Hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what's going on. If it's your first time here, you've watched all my videos, <laughs> whatever the case is, I definitely appreciate you. But from a technical level, level looking at GameStop, I mean, the, the big thing for me was, you know, kind of seeing what they were going to do with earnings. I mean, GameStop drifted below the 10 day moving average then came down on earnings. I mean, it sold off from the 200s all the way down to 120 and they took the premium out of the of the options and then today they ripped it up. So, I mean, this is a crazy, crazy ride. I mean, yesterday DFE, he he lost nine million dollars. I know it's a YOLO, but I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out exactly what his exit strategy is, if there is one. And obviously, if it's a YOLO, there's not really much exit strategy. But you know, as time progresses, he's gonna start losing some money due to theta. But it means he's up, you know, eighty thousand percent. So he's gonna be he's gonna be okay on on those calls. But right now, you know, what I like about this scenario here is it came, it tested, came below the 50 day, 50 day moving average, and then immediately double bottomed here. We'll zoom in, double bottom right here. I mean, even today it came down to 117 today, the 117 area, and then we ripped up from 126 to 183. So I think this is a very, very interesting uh, intersection here for GameStop. What's gonna be interesting to me is if this if this thing can pop back up above 198, which we have, we were, we've been riding the 10 day moving average down. So if, right now there's going to be some resistance 198, 200, because this is where things kind of fell apart. You know, obviously the company is whatever the company is. I mean, it's, uh, they, they initially went down because they said they're going to start using some shares for, for um, start getting some capital from the money that you guys are investing or people are investing into the company for growth so that's actually good news bad news it, got, it definitely does liquidate cause some liquidation issues but what i like about this from a technical level nice clean bounce off the 50 day moving average moving up i mean if you're looking at some of these calls today i mean they really suck the premium out i mean you're looking at next week these were up 400 percent 500 percent today or tomorrow's expiration these were up 800 percent. but let's look at i mean let's look at these one Let's see. Let's look at the 140 calls that are deep in the money here. You know, these went this morning. These are now deep in the money. We'll look at this. So the 140 calls, I mean, they went from $12 to $53. The 190s, if we look at the 190s here, which I mean, they're pretty expensive. And this is for next week expiration. The 190s, they went from, they were opened up at 470, came up to 28. A few days ago, these were trading at, as, a, as high as 57 you know for this week expiration or tomorrow's expiration obviously it's, it's gonna be wild like these 190 calls let's check this out i mean so again bears getting wrecked these were trading at 94 dollars this morning 94 cents and came up to 1270 so a 94 dollar investment if you held all day would net you as high as sixteen hundred dollars and close at 1270 so twelve hundred dollars thirteen hundred dollars so a hundred dollar investment could net you thirteen hundred dollars now we know it's not that simple obviously trading gamestop but i mean i'm not really a believer but it's kind of turning me into a believer that this stock is is definitely here to stay and it's obeying technical levels you know before you know, honestly, when it ripped up from twenty dollars, eighteen dollars, up to four eighty-three, ginormous short squeeze. There was no technicals at all. But 
Now, if you're looking at it, obeying technical levels, I mean, this is going to get really interesting. Whether you believe GameStop should be worth this much or not, if you're just looking at the chart here, obeying the technicals, that is something that you can respect. That is something that you can, you know, get get on, on the winning side for. So I think for me right now, it's going to be interesting. If we get a dip, I think the dips will be bought, but I think this, the, the resistance is going to be right in here between 190, 220. Right in here is going to be resistance. It's going to be tough for the bulls to push through. If the bulls push through this, I mean, it's green skies ahead. I mean, could easily push 300, 400 again. But right now, I think they, they, they need to really focus on the 200 area and breaking that through. So some trades that I took on today, I was trading, like I said, I was trading futures here a little bit. I only traded futures to this morning. And let me just pull this over here. And I took a few trades this morning. Now, the biggest thing for me when trading futures this morning, I made some money. I made some money early in the morning. You know, I I I um I bought in here. I was I was up like basically on this first candle here, I was up hundred and fifty dollars. And then I shorted on this candle in here. I shorted right in here. But the problem was I set a 20 point stop loss, and each time they tagged my stop loss and went down. So I had about $300 in the losses due to them tagging my stop and then ripping right down. So today was a little bit frustrating, like especially right in here. This is what caused me, this is what caused me some losses right in right in this area is where two times in a row they tap my stop and then push down. But thankfully I was able to get back on it and, and trade successfully. I traded this pretty nicely and then I traded this spike up pretty nicely which you know net the net the 247 and then the rest of the day took off but this was some really cre clean price action to the bottom you know floating down here nice selling here from from 780 down to 670 680 so 100 points here and then this up screen uh, upswing here really clean from the 670 area up to 1800 18 1810 really clean here but i took the i took the afternoon off from trading but this was an ideal setup right in here. Nice bottom here and it pushed right, right up there. So, you know, clean trading on that. Boeing, I got into as well today. So Boeing, it's actually, it closed at 247, up to 249. Nice reversal today. Came came down as low as 231. Pump right up and it's, you know, as CNBC's tagging is like, oh yeah, the recovery stocks and blah, blah, blah. You know, they don't actually know. They just throw out whatever headline they, they want to put on. But I like this pivot here. You know, we've been selling off pretty, pretty, pretty aggressively. I didn't go in, you know, very big. I'm, I'm playing conservative. I did for next week expiration. I did buy two of the 260 calls. These are up 30% right now. So I bought, I went, I went in two of the 260 calls for Boeing. I think that this is going to at least push 255, 260 area, which will be my exit. So I might just sell one, hold another one. Maybe it might even pop up to 270. Um, Boeing, Arc K has been getting dismantled as well. What I liked here, nice bottom here, back in the bounce territory, 110. So I got in this. I'm currently up 8%. Now, Arc, I've only added one call because I'm like, you know what? With Tesla, EV getting slaughtered. I mean, ARK has been having a hard, hard time, especially ARK-K. So I only went in, it's up 8% right now. So we'll kind of see this expires. I gave myself more time on this. This expires April 16th. So I have 22 days for this. Kind of see where it goes. I might add to the position as it goes up. But ARK, you know, what I'm looking at here, I mean, it came down to almost the 200-day moving average, 200-day moving average of 106, below the 50-day, below the 10-day. And it is right now in bounce territory. So I'm looking for a bounce up to the 125 area. I don't want to get greedy and push it up to 130. I'm going to be looking for the 125 area on ARK K. And then BLNK. BLNK, they had earnings after hours. Currently, it's sitting at 33.50. So it's down, it's down about a dollar seventy. Expected move for, for this was four dollars and fifty cents. So the expected move here, four dollars fifty cents for ARC. So it, it's going to be around 30, 31 dollars is where the expected move is going to be. And our uh, blink, what I did on blink is I sold an iron butterfly and let me just show you what this trade looks like on here. So I sold at the money, the 
three the 35 strike call uh 35 strike call 40 35 strike put and then i sold i bought wings here i bought the 28 put and i bought the 42 call this cost me in terms of i got a three dollar and 32 cent credit so my risk is basically one to one so it was like 332 max loss is like 360 so it's a one to one scenario here but if we're looking at the analysis tab what i need to happen tomorrow let me bring this down about you know iv was 300 percent. i'll bring it down 150 percent. so I'll, I'll just cut the iv in half you know essentially what i need on blnk i need to stay above 3170 my break evens for tomorrow 3170 and 3830 3850 area so those are my break even points so right now at 3360 if it stays here, I'm going to be up about $180, $190 tomorrow open. Obviously, the sweet spot would be $35, $34. would be almost near max profit, $275, 280 But, I, you know, down at $33, i am not complaining either for, for a nice, easy overnight hold, safe trade, have a nice uh, nice range to trade in here. So, BLNK, they they didn't have very good earnings. So, they're, they're coming down a little bit. They pumped it to 36 So, I'm a little bit worried that tomorrow morning i might wake up and this might be like sub 31 which would then put me in the danger zone so sub 31 would then put me in the danger zone where we could potentially go max loss max loss like 27 if it goes on to 27 max loss 367 here 368 but you know we can handle we can handle a little bit of heat but this does expire tomorrow because we're going to be this was an earnings trade it will be I will be using theta to my advantage, IV crush. So hopefully they can pop this back up to 34, 30, 35 area would be ideal, but I'm not going to complain. If it opens at 33, 34, that's great too. So if you watch this video to the end, comment, watch the end. And as always, stay safe, stay green. It's us first heard.